Hi, my name is Fatima Hashemi. I'm a PhD student in the Research Lab at Stanford University. The title of our work is Self-Correcting Process for High-Quality Patterning by Atomic Fluid Deposition. The goal of this study is to find a process which helps improving and facilitating high-quality patterning in nanoscale. There are different methods for fabrication of small-scale patterns which are used in a variety of electronic and optoelectronic devices. Bottom-up fabrication of the structures in nanoscale could be very challenging and time-consuming since most of these processes require multiple deposition and etching steps. Finding a process in which we can directly deposit materials selectively on a pattern and structure could be very beneficial and could eliminate many steps and complexities in fabrication of 3D patterns. We use atomic layer deposition for deposition of metals and dielectric films. And in order to perform area selective atomic layer deposition, we use self assembly model layers. When we want to perform area selective ALB on a metal dielectric pattern, we use self assembly model layers which bond preferably to metal parts of the substrate. These self assembly model layers will create a blocking layer against ALB. And when we perform ALD, the areas that have been blocked using self assembly model layers are going to be blocked against ALD, and the ALD is going to be deposited only on the dielectric parts of the pattern. However, this process could not always be perfect. In some cases and some ALD processes, we are going to lose selectivity after some number of ALD cycles. In the new approach in this paper, we propose to combine selective etching with the selective deposition. So in this approach, we first selectively deposit phosphonic acid sands on metal parts of a metal dielectric pattern, and we perform aluminum oxide ALB. After about 50 cycles of aluminum oxide ALB, we are going to lose selectivity due to the fact that we have created pinholes in the sands and we are eventually going to get the growth of aluminum oxide on all areas of the sample. However, if after this deposition, we sonicate the samples in acetic acid, which is a mild etchant, acetic acid is going to attack the underlying substrate under the aluminum oxide. It will attack copper oxide, cephalosome mole layers on top of it, and all the dielectric films that has been deposited on it. This way, we are going to recreate the selectivity and we're going to get a selective deposition of aluminum oxide only on the dielectric parts of the pattern. We show that using this approach, we are going to get more than 10 times thicker films deposited selectively on dielectric parts of the pattern. This process has the potential of being used in different ALD processes and can open up different applications in the position of different structures in nanoscale and microscale. This is an example of one of the patterns that we perform area selecting ALB on it. It has micrometer sized copper lines and silicon substrate. But we have been able to show that even in nanometer scale size features, we are able to perform area selective ALB using this selective deposition and etching process.